I don't usually agree with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, but no longer protecting Washington, D.C.'s racist football team name? Okay, I'm on board with that. Thank you. Happy Thursday, Paul Talkers. I legitimately do not know at this point on Wednesday night whether or not I finished the Brave video. If I did, it will be right here. And you can click through to it, and I'll be here when you finish watching it. Please like it, and yeah, I hope I finished it. If not, I am holding my hands under, under, under nothing. Hmm. You know how I was really mad yesterday about everything on the internet? Today turned around. I didn't think it was going to because I woke up this morning and there was a petition on Facebook speaking out against some sexism and misogyny at a Canadian swing dance event. And I was all, oh, it's gonna be another one of those days where I hate everything. But people were signing that petition. People were saying no to sexism and misogyny in swing dance events. That's awesome! And then I thought about three different Swing Nats events that are going to happen on the East Coast this year that I'm probably going to attend, and that I didn't think they had codes of conduct. So I sent messages to the organizers of those events saying, hey, uh, you know, look at this Canadian Swing Nats event, look what happened there. It would be really cool if you had a code of conduct and or anti-harassment policy and or a safe spaces policy. Um, hope, hope, fingers crossed, I'll volunteer to help if you want it. And then they got back to me today saying yes. They do want codes of conduct, they do want safe spaces policies, and they asked me for my input about that. As excited as I was about that, I made sure to say, over and over again, please get women involved in this discussion so that it's not just some dudes, me and the organizers, talking about what's going on. We should really have women's input on making safe space policies. The great thing is these dance event organizers are on the side of providing safe spaces for women, for rainbow folk. It's so great. It, ah, it was awesome. And then this afternoon I found out that a YouTube creator's focus panel that I requested to join at VidCon, I might get into that. I mean, I can't tell you if I do because there's a non-disclosure agreement, but I might get into that. What? <laughs> And then you know this fundraising campaign I'm doing for Rain? That one over there? We passed the target of $250. The pie in the sky, there is no possible way we'd reach it, $250. What? I'm gonna increase the target to $500 because, I don't know, I might win the lottery now. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so this is a pretty fast and happy vlog post because that's literally all I wanna talk about. I don't wanna push my luck. I don't really believe in luck, but I still don't wanna push it. So let me just tell you about my YouTuber of the day, and that's Nerd Girls for the Win. The channel used to be two women talking about nerdy stuff, now it's one woman talking about nerdy stuff, and she talks about all the nerdy and geeky stuff that I like. So of course I'm gonna support her. She's very cool. Go ahead and click on that channel, subscribe to them. YouTuber of the day, Nerd Girls for the Win. I'm having such a run of good luck today, I am definitely jumping back on that Brave video, and I might finish it. I might finish that Brave video tonight. Oh, and the person who contacted me about the possibility that I could be on the YouTube Creators Focus Panel, I told them about my OKC IRL channel, and she was all, that's really cool. I'm gonna check that out. Somebody from Google is checking out my YouTube channel because of a personal interest. I am having the best day. If you like this fast and furious but utterly delighted vlog, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Please share with your friends if you want to show them somebody who is just high on life. So how was your day? Um, let me know in the comments below. If nothing else, tell me something that matters to you because I want to know what matters to you. And as always, thanks for watching. Best day ever.